Uh, some good news coming in, and that is about our Chandrayaan mission that, remember, was taken uh, ta had taken off uh, about a few days ago, and now Chandrayaan 3 has completed its orbit around the Earth, which means it is now heading toward the moon with its real mission now. So the next stop will be the moon, and specifically, it will be about the soft landing that the scientists have worked very hard for Chandrayaan 3 to be able to achieve. The lunar orbit insertion of Chandrayaan is planned for the 5th of August 2023. So you heard it here first. It's heading toward the moon. Chandrayaan 3 has completed its uh, orbit around the Earth successfully. And it will be now heading towards the lunar orbit. The insertion of Chandrayaan uh, will be planned on August 15th, uh, August 5, most likely, in the next few days itself. So that's going to be a good start. Remember, every step, every phase of our Chandrayaan mission matters. That is how it is being tracked by our scientists consistently. But of course, the biggest achievement will be if it manages to successfully soft land on the lunar surface. ISRO has managed to discover water on the moon's surface, but it will be about much more that is yet to be discovered. And India is hopefully heading there very, very soon. Let's go across to Pramod Madhav, who had uh, the good privilege of being able to watch the Chandrayaan 3 take off in live, in reality, and therefore now joining me for the latest. Pramod, it is a heartening news to hear that another step completed for the Chandrayaan 3 mission. What are we expecting next? Uh, and should we say that even this step, uh, this step will bring uh, a lot of happiness, clearly, to the scientists who've been working very hard at the Indian Space Research Organization? It surely is because, like, uh, there are like several technology marvels that have been uh, like just inside this table, or because, like, uh, uh, for any nation to go ahead with the launch itself is a big deal. We have launched it successfully, and now after all completing five orbits, where the uh, closest point to the Earth for Chandrayaan was 170 kilometers, has been raised to 270 kilometers, and the farthest point from 35,000 kilometers, that is called the apogee, has been increased to 1.27 lakh kilometers, and now. It is on the way towards the moon's gravity, and this is called as translunar orbiting. And uh, this is where, like, this will be achieved by. So that is the point when Chandrayaan will reach the, will be the, like accepted by the moon, uh, the moon's gravity, and then onwards it will complete another five orbits around the moon, and then it will go for the uh, actual moon landing. Here you have to like uh, the thing is that each and every step is very crucial because like a specifically calculated amount of structure firing should occur and only then this will be achieved. The, the, the part with ISRO is that ISRO is doing it in a, in a kind of like a manner so easy that uh, uh, various people like uh, in many, many other nations they are marveling it because this itself is an extremely difficult uh, kind of maneuver. Imagine you are sending an, a kind of a, 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 a module from the Earth's gravity uh, I mean, towards the Moon's gravity, it will be accepted and it, uh, ISRO has already achieved it first with the Chandrayaan 1 and Chandrayaan 2, then with the Mars mission, and now we are doing it for the fourth time, and this is expected uh, to happen on 5th of August. It's the big uh, day, and we'll be, of course, tracking the latest as well, wishing all our space scientists uh, uh, at the ISRO all the very best. Remember, it is going to be uh, a very important, heartening news, and uh, it will be all focused on can India also now manage to soft land on the moon's surface.